Dear students, now we are going to discuss coil losses in tuned circuits. As we all know that the tuned circuit consists of a coil that is nothing but an inductor and a capacitor. This is the tuned circuit. It is also known as tank circuit. So it consists of a coil and capacitor. But practically the coil is not purely inductive. It may have some leakages. So it consists of a power loss which is represented in the form of leakage resistance which is connected either in series or parallel with the inductor. So here this inductor should be connected with the leakage resistance to represent the losses associated with that. That is known as coil losses. Do you all understand the concept? So here the total loss can be comprised of three types copper loss, eddy current loss, hysteresis loss, okay. So let's discuss each type in detail here. Copper loss, it is due to the resistance of the winding which is equivalent to the DC resistance, okay. So here coil is made up of windings. So here due to the resistance of the windings in the coil, there may be some losses. It is represented as copper loss. This loss is inversely proportional to the frequency if frequency increases, then the copper loss is getting decreased, okay. Next one is eddy current loss. It is due to the currents flowing within the copper or core winding caused by some inductance. So, it can also be represented as the heating of the core by circulating the current within the core, okay. Here the eddy current loss is directly proportional to frequency. If frequency increases, the eddy current loss is also getting increased, okay. This eddy current losses are the results of Faraday's law of induction, okay. So the next one is hysteresis loss. This loss is caused by the magnetization and demagnetization of the core as a current flows in both the directions like forward direction and reverse direction. In case of forward direction, it is getting magnetized. In case of reverse direction, it is demagnetized. That is called as hysteresis loop. So the loss associated with this loop is known as hysteresis loss. Okay. It is independent of frequency. So next analysis of the coil losses. The analysis of the tuned amplifier is simplified by representing the inductor loss using a parallel resistance. So here we have to consider the quality factor Q0 is equal to here this O represents resonant condition. So Q0 is equal to RP by omega naught into L. From this we can get the value of this coil loss RP is equal to RS squared plus omega naught squared C squared by RS. Okay.